am I an average loan officer? Why am I an average realtor? How do I break out of this? How do I get to the next level? More importantly, why do I allow myself to be average? A couple of thoughts here and let's be real. We aren't gonna take anyone from average to rock star in one five minute show. The hope is to plant the seed, get the conversation started, make a tiny snowball and just nudge it downhill so it can later become a giant avalanche of success. Now, I'm not the authority on the matter, but let me share a few thoughts. One, I actually think the roadmap to success is fairly easy to read and it's pretty clear. Success in business, success in marriage, success as a mother or father, the roadmap, the things you need to do to become successful aren't really that complicated. Now that being said, the accountability, the behavioral habits, and the drive to be successful, that, that's the story. That's what's really difficult. Most people know what they need to do, they just aren't willing to do it. I know I shouldn't go out drinking with my buddies and pay more attention to my family and my kids, but the bar's so fun and there's like a dart tournament tonight, so I, th I think I'm gonna go to the bar and just ignore what I'm supposed to do. Or I know I need to make calls today, but man, sitting here drinking my coffee, surfing Facebook sounds just so much better. We know what we need to do, we just don't want to do it. So the question really becomes, why not? I believe most of us work to the level of our nut. And what is that? Well, what is our monthly nut every month? Is it 5K, is it 10K? Great, that's what I'll make. We subconsciously make this unknown goal in our head that I'll make enough money to pay my bills, maybe enjoy a few movies, and have a little bit of money left over for a rainy day. I've seen it over and over again, and heck, there's entire books dedicated to this theory, and you know it's true. In short, your thermostat is set too low. Your bar is set here, when really it needs to be set up here. Now here's the secret, and hear me loan officers and realtors because this will save you thousands of dollars on self-help books and seminars. Nobody, nobody can change that but you, no one. That's an internal desire that either you have or you don't have. Tim Grover talked about it in his book called Relentless, which you should all get, it. it's an awesome read. It's about having an insatiable desire to become great, to always be improving, to never rest on what you've accomplished. You got two championships, great, go get four. That's what fuels success. It's not talent, it's not even know-how. Know-how and best practices and systems can be learned. Drive and a high thermostat cannot. Another great book on the matter is Talent is Overrated. This book blows the born with it theory out of the water. Oh, he was born a great football player or golfer or CEO. Nope, case study after case study showed a high level of drive and commitment at a very young age for all these folks. Tiger Woods wasn't born great. He hustled and grind at a very, very early age to become the best golfer ever. You, nobody else, have to want that. You have to be able to look at your current situation and say, you know what, enough's enough. I am not average. Write it down, Frick, put it in your office, put it in the mirror at home. I am not average. Now money is not the goal here. Money will come from it, but it's not the goal. Jordan didn't work to make more money. He crushed it to become the best at what he does. That resulted in several championships, millions of dollars, and an insane legacy. Money will come, but more importantly, security will come. Security in the form of job security, the future, money in the bank to fall back on, and wealth. Not riches, wealth, big difference. Once you change that, once you change your thermostat and crank it up, then you'll figure out one of two things. You're either not working hard enough or you're not working smart enough. Now, I'm a firm believer of hard, focused work. I don't know any other way. You work your ass off, you stay focused, and then you win. That's the formula, period. Tim Grover again talks about this in his book, Relentless, working at a level that no one else even dares to attempt. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, insane work ethics that can't be touched. They're great because they focus their energy into one thing and they're great at it. Now, there's consequences in doing this, good and bad. I always say you only have 100% to give to life and it could be split any way you want. 50-50 work with work and play, and thirds work, play, and family, or in the case of the greats, 100% all in. Whether it be Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods, they skewed their balance heavily into one thing. Now, this resulted in Tiger Woods becoming the best golfer in the world, but it also resulted in Tiger Woods being a horrible husband, father, and friend. You just can't do it all, and if you're gonna take from your family percentage and give it to work, then there's gonna be consequences. Work will improve, and family's gonna suffer. Now, 
I'm interested to hear from you all on this matter because I have two friends that managed to be on the top of their game. Both of them made over 100 grand last month alone and they still manage a healthy, balanced lifestyle. So, can it be done? Yeah, but I believe my friends are the exception to the rule and they'll both tell you that there was an insane amount of work to get to that level. Now, I'm going long on this and may have already lost you, but this is very important and I want to pick this up next week. Let's at least get the discussion going down below as to what it takes to go from average to rock star. Three great books on the matter, as I mentioned earlier, are Relentless, Talent is Overrated, and lastly, Good to Great. Go get them right now, get the Amazon app out, and just buy them. Don't even think about it. I mean, frick, get the paperback version for a nickel. I don't care, just get them. Also, you know we are Simon Sinek fans here at The RE Source. Here's a great video he posted a while back. It talks about something I didn't have time to hit on, which is changing your landscape. You know, the people around you, the power of linking up with like-minded people. Want to change your thermostat? Want to hit the next level? Change your circle, change your landscape, and link up with those that you respect and see what it actually takes to sell 300 homes or close $100 million in loans. The link to Simon's talk is below. We scratched the surface on this topic today, so let us know down below if you'd like us to continue this in the future. I'm passionate about it, and I know you guys are too, as evidenced by the millions of dollars we spend every year in the pursuit of the next level. So, let us know down below, and we'll see you next week.